Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kill Rodan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'll bring you yet another quick video where I talk about the movies, shows, I don't know, whatever the case may be, I guess. So yeah, I figured I'll just do this fairly quickly, folks. And yeah, it's something in regards of a princesses and a prince, or princess, or however you want to pronounce that. But it's basically in regards of this one, it's in regards to this actress here, folks, so I just figure out a type of what she has stated. But I'm just trying to get to the point here. She went on to say that there should be a trans prince or a trans princess. So either male to female or female to male, you know, either way, I guess. So, yeah, there should be a representation in, I guess, in an animated movie or live action. I guess either way you could go, I suppose. And... I mean, okay, sure, we can, we can do that. There's plenty of princesses like these, for example, plus several others. So, I actually won't mind seeing even more. Of course, this could be a part of the personality, a part of their characterization, of course. But the thing is that it shouldn't be the only thing. It shouldn't be the only thing that's going on in their lives, of course. Like, who are they as a person? Who are they as an individual? What are, they hobby? what are their hobbies? Do, do they have a favorite author? Do they have a favorite color? You know, it's, uh, what do they want in, in life? What, what is their ultimate goal and whatnot? What's the overall story that I'm getting at? So, like, for example, when Frozen 2 came out, and they're trying to have, like, different type of characters in this movie, and that's fine. That in itself is, is fine, trying to have... Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind seeing a trans princess or a prince. It just depends on the execution. Yeah, but there's a bit of a problem here as well when you think about it, because even if it's done well, people get still get upset. Like, case in point, when Frozen 2 came out, yeah, it got a bit of a mixed response. I mean, some liked it, some didn't, and some more like in between. And it was usually religious people who really didn't like this movie. Not always, but even the fan base who was non-religious, didn't really like it either. A lot of them uh, seemed, okay, I'm not going to bring up every little thing, because this is, this is something I've heard, mentioned way too many times I care to admit. You see, though, like, the fact that the female characters as a lead, the fact that Elsa wore pants, the fact that there's diversity, you know, people from different cultures, and stuff like this seem to be some of the most common complaints from this movie. You know, it, it was inspired by feminazis, was like there was a propaganda thing going on to make men look weak. I mean, that was a thing against the first movie as well, but more so here. And then it was as if to uh, attack the original Princess movies, but that's not the case here. But, so, I mean, you need a good story, but even with a good story, people can still complain. I mean, you know, vote with your daughter. There's a lot of people may not watch this just because of that alone. Execution could be worrisome, and that's one of the things, if not the most important thing I'm worried about, it's the execution of the plot. Sometimes, yes, I've seen plenty of movies out there that had the right idea, they had the right intent, but the delivery of said concept was pretty damn poor, or just flat out bad altogether, because case in point... In the comics, Captain Marvel, I mean, they have the same issue with the movie as well, but point being is that, okay, she's strong, and then she's powerful, oh yeah, she's the mightiest, of course, of all characters, she's supposed to be super powerful, and she's super powerful, and then uh, she's super powerful, but that's it, that's all there is to the character, just, just super powerful, and th that's it. What? That's, that's, that's like the only thing that you can know about her. It's just, is that she's extremely strong. There's nothing really else to the character whatsoever. I Like, are you serious? It's really stupid. And just, um, no, just, I mean, having a female character that's really strong, that in itself, obviously is not a bad thing. No, that's not a bad thing, really. But what the issue is that, if that's the only thing to the character, then yes, that's problematic. And it doesn't exactly help that the actress would just want to uh, tirade on the fact that 
how white men, specifically straight white men, are damaging the representation of some, I guess, women or groups being displayed on film, which in itself is pretty moronic because you don't necessarily have to be white or straight to be a bad person. You can be a bad person regardless of your skin color, sexual orientation, and what gender you identify as. None of that matters. If you're an asshole, then you're an asshole. Simple as that. So, what the hell? I like how Live is Strange 2 displays like how minorities themselves are somehow incapable of doing anything bad. Only them white folks are doing the bad things in the world. Which, again, it's pretty moronic because of the fact anybody and everyone is capable of doing something bad. It doesn't matter where you came from or whatnot. It just depends on what you do. Don't trust the person and the skin color, but what the context of the character. You know, you know, you if you remember that one speech, you know what I'm talking about here. So it just seems rather odd that you're gonna have diversity. Yeah, that game I just talked about it does have diversity, but it doesn't in a really stupid way when you think about it. Uh I don't use like what you call strong uh str yeah, straw man arguments and whatnot. That's not how you're trying to stop bigotry. You can't stop bigotry by Playing white to its hands. But sure, I'm all for it to have a trans princess or prince, you know, assuming the, the story itself is well executed and whatnot. So, I have a grand adventure with birds and songs and all that. Why not? But of course, like I was saying earlier as well, there's going to be people like this this guy. He's already got on the case of trans women anyway. And. Yeah, I'm doing quite a bit. He's already pissed off at the Star Wars movies that being produced by Disney. Of course you would. And of course, uh, and of course, Kate Walk is no different either, obviously, because he gets mad at Lightbeer for supporting gay people. Even though they've already been doing this for years now, but he's now getting upset out at them. Yet he's the same person, the same smuck. They got mad at liberals for calling them snowflakes. But you're getting triggered over this? Over beer? Like, really? Uh, something, something isn't... Which is, wow, okay. Anyway. And since we brought video games, this has support for gay people. And also, this game as well. Yeah, Injustice 2. Oh, yeah, and also, in Criticism. Uh, this did diversity right. What are you going to do? Shoot those two? Buy a bunch of them? That beer already has your money. So, y y yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll bring this up. The original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Before this movie, there was no kid movie, especially animation, I guess you can say to be more specific, animated movie, even if it was for adults, I guess you can say. Either way, before this, a lot of people thought Walt Disney himself was a madman for creating a full-length animated movie. Usually before this, animated whatever was usually very, very short. And yes, nobody had no faith in this, like at all. So now it's considered as one of the greatest films of all time. Considered as a masterpiece. And what Walt Disney did here was taking a risk. He took a risk, and now we have a bunch of animated companies now, like DreamWorks or Animation, that, that's also making a lot of money and whatnot. What I'm saying, you have to take risks, even though, though nobody was asking for it. Like for, like for this movie example. So you have to take risks. So that's what I'm trying to tell, yeah, say that. Uh, I believe what you're trying to say is that so some support when it comes to fans, people. And what, even though... There's been a lot of negative naysayers and whatnot. And of course, like I said before, I think it depends on the execution and hopefully it's done right with the overall plot and whatnot. Anyway, I just want to do this real quick. So yeah, I agree with her. This should be done, but in the right way, of course. As always, thanks for watching and take care until next time.